Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Making room for other people's bad habits. I mean, we're all supposed to be open and willing to accept the indifferences that are constantly moving around us, right? Locating the calm when your space has become their outreach and it changes the mindset. My first steps of every day are overtaken by a screaming bird, a dog demanding way too much attention, and my wife loves to binge watch television. I'm talking dramatic television that usually involves the people on the show getting emotionally hurt, which leads to them raising their voices and crying real tears. All I want to do is just write. Nothing new. I've been at this game of release for 30 years. But when everything around you is louder than the voices in your head and heart, the struggle is to figure out how to tune it out to find your own path and journey in the way of inviting things to become the teaching. These aren't always easy steps, and it's not always a choice, because the one thing that we all do every day is that we own an expectation. To be in a place when you aren't in the mood, but the expectation consistently lives within. If winning is a choice, then why do so many people think they're losing? I mean, seriously, where are we here? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I am a silent wolf. That means I sit on the side and I just observe. I listen. I study. I dig in even a little bit more. Because watching life happen is the journey. And you're going to learn so much if you could just step back and experience it. This is The Daily Mess. When reality shows serve as comedy entertainment... For decades, we have loved our sitcoms and rom-coms. We love to laugh and get into the storylines that we can relate with. But things have changed, and one of the reasons why would be because the writers and the actors recently had a strike, and the flat-screen TV has really geared itself toward reality TV. Free-falling into something that they'll tell you that it's not scripted out, but in a way, you know that it is. Because drama doesn't just happen in the way that they play it out. We love our love. We love our cooking shows, the contests, the homes that they showcase, the fashion shows, and the global explorations. None of it requires the art of acting. It happens, they say, naturally. Even watching NBC's Today Show has become pretty much a joke. They try to set the tone so that we can relate with them, and then here it comes, here it comes, that one-liner. How long do you really sit on a show like this? 30 or 40 seconds, and then it's like, to the next channel, to the next app. Mentally and physically, we're all moving in every direction with no idea what the real destination is. Therefore, we live through others vicariously. Is that really where we need to be? Living life vicariously. I'll never forget the Jim Carrey movie, where it was about him growing up, and we were watching his life in this fake world. And I kept thinking, there's no way. I will never watch a show like that. And yet, here we are, watching these shows that are supposed to be about real life. And we're questioning it, going, really? Is that the way it really would have played out? Because I would have acted differently. Instead of locating a solution, they tend to challenge Whereas those of us on this side of the flat screen, we're going to watch them play it out and then we're going to activate it out in our own life. And if it's right or wrong, we always have something to point our finger at. And it's not us. Where are we with reality shows and how are they going to consistently change to keep us coming back? Because, ooh, I don't know about you, but there's an addiction going on here. And I'll be one of the first ones to raise my hand saying, hi, my name is Arrow and I am addicted to reality TV. I am Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.